Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody. Uh, I beg your pardon guys but I just can't ignore the situation on the Japanese yen. And today we will continue to talk about this currency because today again I have taken a brief look again across the board, across the different pairs and nothing really interesting in the short term perspective within the today trading session and the situation on the Japanese yen still looks most interesting among other par other pairs. So uh, today we'll continue to talk about the Japanese yen. So on the daily time frame chart we see that some downward action has started and it has started by this nicely looking bearish engulfing pattern as the second top. Also as we will see on the 4 hour time frame chart you'll see that in fact this candle has shown the very small shy wash and rinse of these highs. But the one thing that I do not like very much here is that market has not tested the 100% extension. It's one ten three point a half area, so just for the few pips, market hasn't quite reached it. That is the target of our from this ABCD big ABCD pattern. So uh, maybe maybe sometimes it happens when if for example we will draw the this ABCD pattern right from the level where this action has started from this candle because here we see bounce down, uh, retracement, downward continuation and in fact only from that candle move has started. In this case we could say that yes take a look market has tested this target. So sometimes this is, this happens. So the taking the correct point for starting point for any extension, FIB extension has the drastic meaning, drastic importance. Maybe this is really the case right now, but I'm not sure with it. So I'm still can't guarantee that market uh, still will not continue, will not show, will not show some small uh, continuation to the upside. No, after that, we'll start move to the downside. Well, this is really possible. I can't say that it has to happen and it will happen, but this is the risk. That's why yesterday I said that stop order should be uh, placed somewhere above. At this area around uh, 103.65, 103.70, somewhere in this area. But again, this also could happen that this is really the starting action to the downside. Anyway, if you'll take a look at the 4 hour time frame chart, we will see another setup that market now has. Uh, that is, by the way, here you can see that shy washing rings of these highs. So very small penetration and turning down. Actually, guys, here we, we have some kind of the brand body buy pattern because take a look at this first tab, of the second tab. That's for our time frame chart trend holds bearish here. But take a look at this action: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The number of candles is sufficient for a thrust, for treating it as this thrust by the Jordan Apple framework. Now we have close below the three by three and reaching. The significant fifth support that is 38 major fifth support and take a look market has tested the weekly pivot point. The one moment that is not stand in a row with the Jordan Napoli framework with the trading brand and bodies is that market holds too long time below the three by three and hasn't started any action to the upside because it's suggested by the Jordan Napoli pattern that market should start move up to the upside retracement after the third day at maximum of the closing below the 3 by 3. I mean not the day but trading period. So but we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is sixth uh, trading period that market holds below the 3 by 3. That is uh, in fact could be the sign of weakness that market will not show the brand body and brand body will fail. But sometimes this is happens and that could be some kind of the brand by the lookalike pattern or something of that sort because any other condition have been accomplished by the price action for us reaching of the significant levels but too extended action right around it too long coil around this area we do not see any upward action yet um, 
But if you take a look at the hourly time frame chart, you'll see that this action still could possible to happen. That is, by the way, our butterfly that we had traded yesterday. By the way, guys, if you have entered on the uh, our first scenario, as we said, more risky and taking the position by the butterfly, you probably now could try to move your stop to the break even or tight your stop, and because you can see this is really was not bad action that led you to contract your risk. Well, here we see that market is testing the weekly pivot point and take a look. Market has foreign bullish stop grabber pattern. Okay. Uh, and has shown small washroom rings with these lows as well. So this stop grabber pattern assumes, at least theoretically, that taken out of, this, of these highs. But market could proceed slightly higher than I suppose that 618 resistance will stand somewhere in this area, around 103.10, probably just a minute. Now we will use the mic, Michael indicator. <clears throat> right, as I said, round 1 on 3 or 10. So that will be the target of this potential action to the upside if this double bottom, uh, sorry, uh, this stop grabber will, will work and if our brand bother buy on the 4 hour time frame chart still will work. So that is just in the short term perspective, this really could happen. So if we will apply Fibonacci ex extensions. We will see that 1618 stands slightly higher than this area. Well, anyway, the minimum target of the brand bar, if it will work, although it looks now not absolutely pure as it should, but still we see some hints on the potential bounce that really could happen. Then the minimum target of this pattern will be right here. Another significant moment is that now we have very small risk. So, uh, because we have the pattern on the intraday chart, and if market will take out of this loss, it will mean that brain bond on the 4 hour time frame chart will not work. Market will simultaneously will erase the stop grabber, and that will mean that market will continue move to the downside. So, this may be, uh, this situation doesn't carry a lot of uh, importance for daily traders, because on the daily ch chart, we also, we need only wait for the confirmation of the double repo sell, double repo sell pattern and we will get it if market will close below this green line that is 3 by 3 moving average but for the scalpers for the scalp traders if you trade on the intraday charts that could be set up that you could dedicate some, the first half of the day so if market will really start move to the upside then the target that to watch for is the 103 or 07 around 10 area the stop the invalidation point will be below this loss because the set market, if market will take out of this loss, it will simultaneously raise the bullish pattern, will break this support, and what is more important is that market will move below the weekly pivot point, and that will shift sentiment on the bearish side of the market, the bearish side. That's why uh, you can see risk reward is acceptable, so reward is much greater than the risk currently. Um, that is a setup that um, could be interesting during the first half of today trading session. So um, that's been said, in fact on the daily time frame we just wait for confirmation. The major question is still remains uh, whether market will hit this this 103.50 area or not. That's the risk. But uh, that really could happen that market already has touched the uh, ABCD target if we will choose another slightly another point for ABCD construction. Well, that's the concern for the daily time frame chart, but on the intra intraday charts we have this some kind of brand by the buy, although it's not perfect. And uh, pattern now on the hourly time frame chart, that's bullish stop grabber point, that still this pattern is still work until could could work un until market will hold above this loss. So if market will take it then probably this setup on the 4 time frame will be erased and market will continue move to the downside. So that's two different setups on the Japanese yen right now, but that's really still more than on the other currencies because on the other currencies in the short term perspective I see nothing really interesting.